I have a Dymo here, 4XL printer. I need to print some labels. I have a brand new, um, it's not even a week old, iMac. And my experience in the past has been that um, it's not super easy to install the Dymo. And the reason is, as I remember, is that the Mac has a driver that will sorta halfway work with the Dymo. But you really have to put the, you really have to go to Dymo and actually download the driver. So that's what I'm going to do. Dymo, go to their website. And then, let's see, is it support? Ah, turn off. Support. Downloads, right here. Okay, download software, drivers. Uh, Mac, the latest software and drivers for all label writer 450 series 4XL and label managers. Okay. Looks like that's what I need. It's downloading this little setup file down here. 73 megabyte download. Okay, that took about, I don't know, two minutes real time. And I'm just gonna open the DMG file. I'll double click on the package. We'll run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Okay, hopefully it can. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Agree. Password. Uh, okay, that's fine. And hopefully after this installs, uh, I'll be able to go print a label. Installer would like access to your photos. All right, whatever. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. I just agree with everything. You do what you like. <laughs> Connect, and if appropriate, it's already connected. Turn the printer on now, then click continue. Installation successful. Software was installed. Uh, move to trash. All right. Now let's go to printers and see if it shows up in the printers list. It says no printers available. Hmm. Whenever I go to add printer, this shows up here. It populated. All right, and now it's here. It says idle last used. Looks like it's probably ready, but I'm going to try and print a label. Okay, so I got to cover up the customer information, but whenever I pulled up the print label dialog just now, it populated with the correct printer, it populated with the label size. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to hit print. And again, I got to cover up customer data. It printed perfectly, y'all printed perfectly it has a little bit of and I, i've experienced this before it starts printing too early i could probably make some adjustments somewhere um like it's too it shifted too far up rather than down but i've actually printed like thousands of labels exactly like this and it doesn't matter so that's it that's all i mean basically i made a video about you have to put the driver on that's the key because if you don't put the driver on when the operating system will tell you the printer is installed but it's not right like you try to print without putting that driver on i don't know if you can even do it but it's not you're not going to be able to do the four by six label size at least in my experience so hope this helps someone out there thank you all very much for watching take care bye bye